A warm greeting, today is Monday, September 11, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be talking about the two disturbances we are observing, which are located just west of Africa. The first one is Invest 97, which has a low probability of cyclonic development over the next 48 hours. I will also discuss the recently designated Invest 98, which has a moderate probability of development as it moves across the tropical Atlantic. Before discussing the updated forecast for these two tropical waves, I wanted to mention that the powerful Hurricane Lee continues its slow westward movement, passing well north of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. It is causing significant swells along the northeastern coast of the Caribbean. Hurricane Lee is expected to continue westward, passing west of Bermuda and then taking a northward turn, which should bring its center near the northeastern United States and Nova Scotia. For those interested in this hurricane, please stay tuned to my YouTube channel, as I will be recording a new update later tonight. Additionally, I wanted to mention that what was Tropical Storm Margot has strengthened into the fifth hurricane of the Atlantic hurricane season in 2023. The 2023 hurricane season continues to be very active, with four hurricanes forming since August 26. The recent weeks have been very active in the Atlantic region. Cyclonic activity will continue over the next few days, especially because we have two disturbances with development potential. Although Invest 97 is expected to remain relatively weak over the next few days, the circulation of Invest 98 is more robust, and it will likely absorb the circulation of Invest 97 as it moves west-northwest. At least in the visible satellite image, we can see that both disturbances are currently disorganized and are not generating significant thunderstorm areas. Nevertheless, meteorological models and the National Hurricane Center understand that Invest 98 is likely to become a tropical depression later this week. Therefore, the development probabilities have been increased to 60% over the next seven days. Please note that the formation area of the tropical cyclone is possibly occurring at a somewhat high latitude, so the current risk to the Caribbean is extremely low. As you will see shortly, it is not projected to reach the Caribbean in the long term. This can be seen in the forecast paths of Invest 97, where, after its interaction with Invest 98, both disturbances are likely to merge into a single entity. It is then anticipated to take a west-northwestward trajectory. By the end of this week, it is likely that the system will gain latitude quite rapidly when it reaches the longitude 45 degrees west, it is expected to be at the latitude 20 degrees north. The projection of specialized trajectory models keeps it far away from the Caribbean region. This is definitely good news. We can also see this in the projection of global models, which also have this disturbance moving at high latitudes, and currently, none of the global models bring the future tropical storm Nigel close to the Caribbean. Let's look at the latest runs of the global models. Here, we have the GFS model. In today's initialization, we have Invest 97 southwest of the Cape Verde Islands and Invest 98 southeast of the Cape Verde Islands. Over the next few days, Invest 98 is likely to merge with the circulation of Invest 97. Once both disturbances combine, we will probably see the formation of a tropical depression between Friday and Saturday of this week. Furthermore, please note that the high-pressure system is displaced to the northeast of the Atlantic. With the formation of Hurricane Margot and the passage of Hurricane Lee near Bermuda, this will weaken the Bermuda high pressure, allowing for a generally west-northwestward trajectory. Currently, the GFS model in the long term keeps the future Hurricane Nigel at a safe distance from the Caribbean, following a trajectory similar to that of Hurricane Lee. I must mention that, at the moment, the GFS model is the only one that brings this future cyclone somewhat closer to the Caribbean. While the other models, including the European model, maintain a west-northwestward trajectory and then, during the weekend, a northwestward path, passing far from the Caribbean region. There is a marked difference between the projection of the GFS model and that of the European model. The German model also aligns with the trajectory of the European model, moving northwestward during the weekend and gaining latitude quite rapidly. The Canadian model also projects a northwestward trajectory, and the UK model aligns with a path far to the north over open waters of the Atlantic. The consensus among the models currently provides reassurance, and it is not anticipated that this future cyclone will reach the Caribbean. This can also be seen in the different scenarios shown by the ensemble members of the European model, where all members have the future tropical storm Nigel or Hurricane Nigel moving northwestward and far from the Caribbean region. Additionally, the ensemble members of the GFS model, although many of them have a slightly more westward trajectory compared to the European model, show that the majority of them pass this disturbance far northeast of the Caribbean. Currently, only one of them has a trajectory over the northeastern Caribbean, 
while we will continue to monitor the evolution of this disturbance in case there are any changes in the forecast, it genuinely seems very unlikely that it will take a trajectory other than northwestward due to the greatly weakened high-pressure system. In the worst-case scenario, as shown by the GFS model, it might have a more westward trajectory, but it is still expected to pass northeast of the Caribbean. We will have many days to calmly observe how this forecast may change. For now, it appears to be good news for the Caribbean and the United States. Well, with this, I bid you farewell, and I will update you tomorrow on the forecast for Invest 97 and Invest 98. I hope you all have an excellent night. Goodbye.